<clears throat> so the new season, Cold Snap, is here, Legends, and it brings a brand new battle pass. But a lot of players are expecting 800 Syndicate gold for free so they can purchase it. What's going on, guys? My name's Roast, and we're going to cover all of that in this video, and it seems as though Respawn may have messed up. But before we do that, let's check it out. So here is the new Cold Snap battle pass. The standard premium costs 799 Syndicate gold, and the premium plus costs 1599 But that one gives you 10 extra levels levels and an exclusive avatar frame. Now the new season brings us the new legend Loba and to unlock her you need to collect Loba fragments from the pass. Fortunately this is free to do and you don't need to purchase the battle pass to get it. All you need to do is reach level 25 in the free pass to get 10 fragments to unlock her in the game. You can use her in the firing range if you want to test her out but the only way to unlock her in the actual game is to get her fragments or you can just purchase her for 750 syndicate gold. To get Battle Pass experience, all you need to do is complete challenges in the game. Super easy. Now, the Battle Pass has some ice cold skins, but the top five I've picked so far is number one, this Bloodhound Snowprint skin, which looks insane. Number two, the Winter Gilly of Bangalore. Number three, the Frozen One R301 skin. Number four, the level 50 Octane skin, which is my absolute favorite. It looks insane. And then finally, they have a brand new Eva 8 Evening Snow shotgun skin, which all in all, I think the battle pass looks great. I think Respawn have brought us, you know, an amazing battle pass. But as I said, at the start of this video, a lot of us expected to get this for free when maxing out the season one primetime battle pass. Now, let me break it down for you guys. So before the season started, Respawn, a few weeks ago during season one released an in-game announcement which stated that starting from the launch of the season which we thought was cold snap 800 syndicate gold will be provided with the completion of the season one premium or premium plus pass now i've got confirmation from an actual developer that this was actually a typo and it was worded very badly as we all thought that by completing the first prime time season one battle pass we get 800 syndicate gold ready for the new cold snap battle pass now they actually changed that in the patch notes and it actually says now that starting from the launch of the season 800 syndicate gold will be provided with the completion of the cold snap premium or premium plus pass so what they mean is when you purchase the pass on certain levels of the battle pass you get free gold so on the season one prime time pass you can see here you get 50 gold on certain levels like level 2 level 9 all the way up to level 49 where you get 100 syndicate gold and then all of that gold that you collect in that battle pass amounts to 750 syndicate gold and then they stated that you also get an extra 50 syndicate gold to make it a total of 800 sent to your in-game mail which again all amounts to 800 ready for the cold snap battle pass so technically guys if you think about it if you buy the first battle pass and you don't spend any of that gold every season and you max out the battle pass then you can use that gold to purchase every battle pass going forward every season this is exactly what they do on pc and console but it was just worded really badly on the mobile version it was worded so that we all thought you know we were getting 800 gold automatically ready for this season's cold snap battle pass but that's not the case i feel so bad guys because i feel like i've spread this sort of misinformation on that typo that they've done in the announcement so i'm trying to see if i can get respawn to compensate the community somehow but for me personally as a token i want to give you guys five battle passes on this video i know it's not much but i wanted to give you guys as a token because i feel like i've spread that misinformation and i want to provide the best information possible for apex legends mobile so aside from the battle pass guys the game has actually brought us a new store vault called the winter warfare which contains some insane snowy skins too like this frozen chain r301 and this cool looking snow ground wraith skin but be careful though as these skins cost a lot to get and the chance of getting them is quite low so do it at your your own risk we also have a brand new free seasonal store which offers a way to earn free skins and items by obtaining diamonds just for playing the game you can earn diamonds every day from loot crates in the map and by completing all of the challenges in the game the store has some absolutely insane free skins like this loba banner and this blue caustic skin all right so i'm going to purchase the battle pass right now and try and max out this video so cost me 15.99 gold which is around 12 to 13 pound 
You get this insane Bloodhound Snow Prince skin, which looks insane. We're going to quick equip that. We also get this amazing Devotion skin. And we get 10 automatic levels in the pass. But I'm going to claim everything right now. So we get some more Loba Fragments. We get some more gold. So we get 150 SG right now for hitting level 11 in the Battle Pass. So there's a 30% discount for purchasing levels right now. So we're actually just going to max it out for 3,276, which is costing me around 40 English pound, which is around $60. So I'm going to claim everything right now. So we have maxed it out, level 50. So I'm going to show you exactly how much Syndicate Gold I get, okay? And here it is, guys. So at the moment, you can see if you scroll right to the end. So for maxing out the pass, I just got 800 Syndicate Gold just for maxing it out. So if I save that Syndicate Gold now, that I've got in my inventory, then I'll be able to buy the next battle pass for free. All in all, I think this season looks great so far. I have heard that there's some more bugs in the game and the optimization isn't that much of an improvement. And again, the bugs are the main thing, like some of the main bugs that they should have been working on. They they seems as though they fixed bugs that people didn't really complain about. Where the bugs we actually need fixing are like, you know, sound glitches in the distance, being able to go through doors. So it's not that great in terms of bug fixes. I'm sure they will roll out some more updates over the course of this season. But that's it, guys. Let me know what you think about this season in the comments. I'm going to be dropping a video tomorrow on Loba, the new legend, and showing you guys exactly what the thickness is capable of. Thank you so much for watching, Legends. Don't forget to hit a like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below to have a chance of winning one of these battle passes. And I'm going to be live on Trovo today, checking out the new season. So if you want to come play, come on over.